All right, guys, welcome to this page of the notes. And again, what we're doing here is we are adding and subtracting rational expressions, and we're going to do it by finding the LCM and making that LCM our least common denominator. So here we go. Let's just jump right into this. Again, 9b. Well, if we factor that, we know that 9 is a 3 squared, so I'll have 3 squared times b. 7a b squared, well, 7's prime, so it'll just be 7 times a times b squared, which means that my LCM, easy to do, 3 squared times 7 times a times b squared, and so that means um, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 7 is going to be um, 63. All right, here we go. So that means I need my denominators, right? My denominators to be 63ab squared. Well, let's figure out how we do that. I have 8a over 9b. All right, well, how do I get 9b to be 63ab squared? Well, multiply, right? 9 times 7 gets me 63. I need an a and I need another b. So 7ab. And whatever I do to the bottom, Algebra says I got to do to the top. Minus 1 over 7ab squared. Well, I need the 7ab squared to be a 63ab squared. Well, the ab squared is already there. So how do I turn a 7 into a 63? Multiply top and bottom by 9. Great. Here we go. Um, 8 times 7 should be 56. So I wind up with 56 a squared B all over 63 AB squared minus 9 over 63 AB squared, which means I have 56 A squared B minus 9 all over 63 AB squared. I already know, I don't even have to check. I know that that's going to be in simplest form because I used an LCM. Right? That means my GCF is 1. And there's no point in factoring out a 1 because it won't change the problem any. So by using the LCM to get my least common denominator, least common denominator, I know that as soon as I subtract these guys using that least common denominator, it's already going to be in simplest form. I don't even have to check. I use the least common multiple. Let's do another one. Hey, let's add these guys. All right, well, my common denominator is going to be my LCM. So here we go. 8m squared n is going to be a 2 cubed times m squared times n. And then I have an m times n squared. I don't, need, I don't even have a coefficient, so it's just going to be m times n squared. So this is easy. LCM is equal to 2 cubed, which is 8, times m squared times n squared. So 8m squared n squared. Here we go. I need this to be my least common denominator. So I need to turn an 8m squared n into an 8m squared n squared. Well, piece of cake. Multiply top and bottom by n. 1 over 8m squared n times n over n plus 2 over mn squared. Well, I need this to become an 8m squared n squared. So I already have an mn squared. I just need an 8m. So multiply top and bottom by 8m. All right, what does that mean? Well, that means that I'm going to have n over 8 m squared n squared plus 2 times 8 is going to be 16. 16 m all over 8 m squared n squared. And you're almost done. Go ahead and add those numerators, but they're not like terms, right? Variable is n, variable is m, not like terms. So it's just going to be n plus 16 m all over 8 m squared n squared. And again, I don't even have to check it. 
I know it's going to be in simplest form because I've made my least common denominator the LCM, the least common multiple. So that means the GCF for all of these guys is, is one. And there's no point pulling out a one because you just get back what you had. Um, so that's why I like doing this uh, method, using this method for adding and subtracting rational expressions because once you use the LCM as your least common denominator, you know that after you add or subtract those rational expressions, it's going to be in simplest form. Guys, hand it over to the next page of the notes. We'll try a few more of these. I'll meet you guys there.